It's so easy to despair. You sit down, you uncap your pen, you start drawing, and then you realize you've drawn a large stinking turd. It's inescapable and it's bad. So bad that the stench drives you from your sketchbook for days. Congratulations, you're on your way. The fact is crap is the inevitable byproduct of the creative process. It's supposed to be, and it happens to us all. Let's get some perspective. I recently took a huge book out of the library that contained all 2,137 known works by Vincent van Gogh. It almost broke the rear axle of my car. Now bear in mind that those are the 2,137 pieces that have actually survived for 12,530 years. You just know that there were several times as many that Vinny or his brother or some skeptical landlord trashed or burnt or flushed long ago. So maybe Van Gogh made five or 10,000 drawings and paintings over his 10 years of art making. Three a day, it sounds reasonable for him, considering the tear that he was on. How many are great? 10, 20? Let's go crazy and say 100. That still means that his hit rate was generously 1%. I love the movie Amadeus, but let's face it, it's fiction. The idea that Mozart just sharpened a fresh quill and wrote the Requiem or the Jupiter or Don Giovanni or any of his other 623 works of varying qualities as fast as he could take dictation from God, well, that's just nonsense. He squeezed out turds every day just like the rest of us. <coughs> Picasso left behind 50,000 works, 50,000. On some days, he made five paintings. The Cahiers d'Art, that's the complete catalog of all of his works, it takes up 33 volumes, and it costs $20,000 just for the catalog. Did Pablo think that all 50,000 were genius? Did his gallery owner? I doubt it. These are some of the greatest geniuses of all time. And even they didn't hit home runs every time at bat. That's why they worked on paper, because it could be crumpled up and hurled against the wall in frustration. We have good reason to be afraid of failure, even if we actually are great. Now, in our commercially rapacious world, we don't allow for crap, although there's certainly plenty of crap in it. The minute we set someone up on a pedestal, we start working to pull them down. If you write a great book, have a great show, make a great record, expectations will be immediately ratcheted up. But your initial success is probably going to be followed by something that just isn't quite as good. Overnight, you're the Knack or the Stone Roses or Terence Trent Darby or Skeet Ulrich or Lindsay Lohan. And once you stumble, you're dead. Meatloaf. There's little tolerance for failure. It's better to just be Harper Lee and to quit while you're ahead. You are different because you're learning, hopefully for the rest of your life, to succeed in the creative process, you need a long-term view. You need a thick hide and you need to keep working. You can't get hung up with self-doubt and give up at the gate. You can't mistake a failed drawing for a failed you. You aren't your turds. You just aren't. And stop insisting on perfection as the price of moving on. Even Tiger Woods isn't Tiger Woods. You have to swing at lots of balls before you slowly inch your way from Van Gogh's brown potato paintings to sunflowers and irises. It's a battle of inches, and slowly but surely, your turds will smell sweeter. Learn from your mistakes. Otherwise, all the pain that you endured from making that bad art was just a pricey ticket that you never got punched. Bottom line is, if you're going to go through a period of making bad art, you must go on. You can take a break, but eventually soon you must go on. Because otherwise, what you're running away from isn't the way you put pen to paper. It's fear of who you are. And you'll never escape who you are. Instead, learn to accept and to love it flaws and all, and then to go on. Trust me, you are more together and less smelly than Vincent van Gogh. 
Don't be tripped up by a few bad drawings. Keep them and learn from them and let them improve your future art and your future self. People who never produce turds die of constipation. Hey, I just wrote a new book, and it's not a turd. It's sort of an owner's manual for creative minds. And if you watch this video all the way through, I'm pretty sure that you're going to like it. Pick up a copy on my website. Enjoy it.